Hello, Vibers, and welcome to Investors Vibe. Today, we'll be talking about IEZEC RLC. We'll be looking at the project from all levels, the vision of the team, even the strength of the team, and what they're trying to accomplish in the decentralized world. So before we dive into it, please, if you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, please help us grow by subscribing and hitting on the notification bell. Also, let us know what you think about IEZEC in the comment section. Isaac is a decentralized marketplace for computing resources. It allows individuals and enterprises to monetize their applications and data sets and to trade computing power. So there are some features to Isaac. It is an open market. Everyone can interact with the transaction on the blockchain. So it's a cloud provider. And so the cloud providers and requesters transact directly in a peer to peer network. Is free of any central authority, just like many blockchain networks. The company develops the technology and protocols, and that's all it does. And it organizes the exchanges between the stakeholders, those giving up their uh, computing power, renting them to others, and those that are actually going to buy and use those computing power to do all sorts of computing management and ac activities. So, how it works, it is an open market, so anyone can become a cloud provider or requester to either provide resources to the network for others to use or to use resources that others has provided on the network. The data renting, you can rent your data sets and get paid for it. It's a free pricing, so I set the prices that I want to trade my resources for, and anyone who sees the pricing to be right for them can buy or can rent it from me and use so it's also a pay per tax so there is no need to assume how much you're going to use or anything you actually pay for the one that you use so that's a very good feature to have you only pay for the ones that you use and it's an improved efficiency so it uses blockchain smart contracts and it streamline and automate processes such as payments for resource and also for validating transactions and it's a high grade security it uses encrypted and host machines are never able to inspect copy or temper with any data and because of this it has also partnered with intel and it has helped in its tee trusted execution environment and also using the intel sgx in further development of off-chain compute so there are a lot to come after this one on that one so intel is a partner and they've helped in providing higher grade security for the network and for users of the network custom permissioning providers can decide who has access to their resources and revoke it when needed so if i'm providing some resources on the network i can choose who i want to have access to my network or to be able to use it and those that i want to prevent from using it it is a mu immutable ownership. So if I provide data sets or yes, if I provide data sets on the network and you rent them to use them, you actually have access to it for the time that you've rented it. As soon as that ends, I get ownership back to my data sets and you don't have any kind of ownership, not even a shared ownership. You don't buy them. You don't own them. You only rent them for a while. And after you are done, the data sets come back to me. So it's a very good thing. People are not going to be afraid to lose their data sets or their resources. So it's a great thing. And it's a real time monitoring on the blockchain. Everything gets recorded. So that's a feature that all blockchain networks have. There is something known as bag of tax, which allows you to split your heavy computation tax into little bits of computations and run them simultaneously. So imagine maybe you want to run something like watch a movie or play a game. If you need something like GPU, CPU power, something, all of those will be conducted simultaneously and you can just get all of these done in one transaction. So instead of having like thousands of transactions for a thousand different computations, you will now have only one transaction for thousands of computations. So it makes it very easy to use the network. It also utilizes sidechain to create faster and cheaper computation transactions by eliminating the payment of gas and scalability issues on the Ethereum blockchain, on the Ethereum mainnet. And 
because it uses sidechain to combat this there won't be any gas fee and also there will be high performance and low latency now let's talk about the rlc which stands for runs on lots of computers that's the currency on the isaac network and so it's going to be used to transact on the network that's it that's it has a utility use case on the network stakeholders are made in using the rlc currency to transact so if you rent someone's data or if you're renting someone's gpu or cpu you will need to pay them back in the rlc so the team is based in france and they are very highly educated people with phds and stuff this is one of the teams that you would like to invest in them but aside from the educational background they are also dedicated to their goal if you're investing in the business you're also investing in the people running the business so it's a good thing to know that these people are hard at work they have partnerships with major big players like intel and also with ibm cloud so with intel the partnership will allow isaac to use intel sgx technology the one that i talked about earlier to improve the security of its decentralized cloud computing and another partnership is the one it has with ubisoft it's a gaming provider so you've probably heard of it in the gaming industry this will allow both companies to collaborate to exploring the opportunities of integrating blockchain technologies and augmented reality into the gaming industry so there is a partnership between chainlink and isaac where the two projects are, are providing a decentralized car insurance use case by using both the isaac worker and the chainlink node to create this in the future so with all the debate going on between the community of isaac and chainlink i think this is a good thing to bring them together i stand for the two by the way so i think maybe i'm one of the odd people but i think moving forward many people will choose to do the same because they are both great projects in the blockchain industry the token is now trading at 61 cents recently it was somewhere around 70 75 cents but i think for the recent drops there have been some drops in isaac as well in the last 24 hours there have been like minus 2.3 in the total market cap on queen gecko so the market cap for isaac now is 43 million and i think this is the reason why investing in it right now would probably be a good thing it's not an investment advice but it's now 99 number 99 on queen gecko and the highest has been is four dollars and now from that price it's down 84.8 percent that's something else but on the bright side it has been trading on a lowest of 15 cents as well so compared to that one too it's up right now so that's how the token is performing so now let's talk about the future well just like any other blockchain project out there the risks are also there irrespective of how potentially the project can become big so there are some things that helps in making decisions probably and one of those is in april 2018 isaac was chosen as red herring top 100 europe winner from about 1200 companies and also isaac was selected as a winner of the investment for the future program by bpi france and it's a french public investment bank to develop the to support the development of a blockchain based cloud solution for enterprises also isaac is part of the Linux foundation projects the confidential computing consortium where um facebook google and all these big names microsoft oracle they are all members of and isaac is a general member together with baidu and some big names like byte dance so this is my review about isaac and i'll be glad to know what you think in the comment section also please if today is the first time and you have not subscribed yet please subscribe and hit on the notification bell to not miss an update from investors vibe Thank you very much for watching. My name is Philip and bye.